Hey guys, so Girl. I want to show you guys this receipt really fast before I start this video. I went to Walmart and price matched Smart and Final, Stater Brothers, and Albertsons. And I want to show you guys my, my um, receipt. I bought a total of 80 items and I paid $22.15. And I'm hoping the camera is focused enough. So I'm going to break this down. So if you want to know what I bought, what I say. Okay, guys, I had an awesome time at Walmart today. I really did. Now, off the back, I'm going to let you know that my total before, t before coupons was $176. However, I only paid $22.15 for all you see here. Now, I'm going to start off with the, um, the Fritos and the, che and the Cheetos. These are price match from Smart and Final. They're $149 when you purchase four. I did use a dollar off of two um, Peely coupon that was on some of the bags, um, making those basically $0.99 cents each. I picked up the um, Farmer John's Sausage Links right here. These are price matched from Stater Brothers for two for five. We had two dollar off manufacturers which made these 50 cents a piece. Um, I got the Farmer John Breakfast Sausage here. Price matched those from um, Albertsons for today only for 69 cents. I had a dollar off two coupon which basically made these 19 cents each and I did pick up 20. Um, I picked up 10 of the regular classic and then 10 of the maple and I will definitely throw these in the freezer as soon as this video is done and this will last us for a long time. They don't expire till um, the end of July. Actually the, yeah the end of July. I picked up a couple of toys for Papa, the Play-Doh toys and combined that was an additional $12 with no coupon. The um, nail polish, the NYC's were $1.72. I had a dollar off one printable from coupons.com, making those 72 cents each. I picked up the pull-ups. This is the 51 count. And I went on the pull-ups website and got that coupon that was one for $1.25 and one for a dollar. Um, basically making those 39 cents for the dollar twenty-five off coupon and 64 cents for the dollar off coupon. The pineapples right here, I had a 75 cents off of two manufactured coupon from coupons.com. Those were 68 cents each. Um, so basically at the end of the day, they were 30 cents each, which I thought was a really good price. I wish I had more coupons. The shredded wheats, now this coupon does expire on the 9th, which I think is tomorrow. Um, these were $2.78 at Walmart, that's their everyday price. I love, love, love the honey nuts, so I went ahead and picked up four more boxes at 78 cents each. Now the big money maker for me was the Oral B replaceable head um, item. Those were five sixty seven, and I had I used a seven dollar coupon. I got that deal from um, the Clam straight up. I got it from the Clam. I was on there this morning and I saw that deal. Saw that people were doing that, and I was like, awesome. The coupon does say um, rechargeable, and it says Oral B two or three head um, replacement. So that was a dollar and thirty three cents of overage for everyone that I bought. I got a total of eleven and just ordered more on eBay. Um, the L'Oreal shampoo, that one. Now I know we were using the be able, we were able to use a dollar off coupon for those, but I use the um, two dollar off coupon because it does say um, for treatments and I figured this was the same because um, it does say total repair. So to me that's considered a treatment. And I have seen other people use that coupon for that as well, so that worked fine. I picked up 20 of those. I got $20 and some odd cents of overage for that as well. The Q-tips over here, I only picked these up because I needed them, simply put. I'm so OCD with cleaning my ears out. I mean, I probably do it twice a day. And so I run through clean. I run through Q-tips. Those were $238. I only use a quarter coupon making those $213 for the 375 count. I picked up the Taster's Choice right here just because I had a... Um, I had a 55 cent off manufacturer coupon from the inserts and I only had one so it must have been in the LA time and making these 45 cents. Now I'm not a big fan of, of instant coffee but you know what, when you don't have coffee that's better than nothing. I also picked up the bug spray because we've been having crazy crazy ants. This is the season of the flipping ants and so I had to get this. This was, Honey, ants. This was um, scavenger ants baby. This was $2.78. I had a dollar off coupon from the inserts, making that $1.78. I'll probably go back and pick up another one. Because I'm just, I hate ants, I hate roaches, I hate bugs, I hate water bugs. I just, I hate them. And there was three in my bathroom last night, and I freaked the hell out. 
I freaked the hell out. Well, they're under um, the sink. The last thing that I got, you guys, was the coolant. I got the coolant because I went there to get an oil change for my car, and I was very low on coolant. I think I don't think I had any in my car at all. So I picked up this. This was nine dollars. So I didn't have a coupon for it, but nonetheless, again, it was something that I definitely needed. Overall, again, I did pay $22.15 for all you see here. I thought it was an awesome, awesome, awesome transaction. The cashier was just straight awesome kid. It was just, it was just, everything went smooth. I had my ads just in case because when I went last time without my ad, the cashier had to go away from the register and she was gone for a few minutes looking for the book. And I just said, I'm not going to do that. I'd rather just take my ad. I know that with the price matching, you don't need your ad. But I just feel like it saves time to just have the ads. So the cashier was very thankful um, that I had my ads. Again, I priced my price matched these from Albertsons for 69 cents. I priced matched the Cheetos from Smart and Final for 149 when you buy four. And I priced matched the sausage, the farmer sausage at Stater Brothers um, for two for five. Alright, nothing else I can add. As always, I hope that you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll see you all at the same time, same channel. Later guys.